Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Captain Haddock from the Adventures of Tintin. Right here we have a raster image and this is the image we'll be making right here on the left hand side. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the shape of the head. And we're going to do that by pressing L to make a circle, clicking, and then our dimensions are going to be 95 by 150 points. Having done that, we're just going to switch to our skin color right there. And now we're going to start making the grid lines. And the grid lines are just help us uh, draw uh, everything a bit more to scale. So we'll make one right through the middle. Then we'll make one, we'll copy it down to the base. And we're just going to make sure that this is all aligned to itself. Then one at the top of the head. And one in between both of these shapes like so. And we're just going to vertically align them. And another one between there. Vertically align. And once again move down. Vertically align. And we're just going to do that once more. Great. Now having done all that, we're going to select our lines. And we're going to just give them a kind of a brighter color. Make it red so they stand out a bit. And we're going to move this down a bit. Leave that. Now, what we're also going to do is we're going to make one vertical line uh, that will just split the head in two using these. Like so. Now, what we're going to start now is with the beard. We're going to use the pencil tool over here. And we're going to start right here in this little quadrant. And we're going to make kind of a U shape or a W shape as we go up down and then you want it to kind of squiggle make little rounded bumps as you go around the beard just following the shape that you see right here don't worry if it's not perfect then we're going to select it and we're going to go to path and join just make sure that the two lines are connected don't worry if it's a bit squiggly a bit funny looking like here i'm just going to correct this bit by deleting some anchor points. That's cleaning up a bit, like so. Then we're gonna go to Object, Path, and Simplify. And we want it to be a high percentage just to keep our original shape. Just maybe a few percentages less than 100. Great, now we're gonna select all of our grid lines and we're just gonna put them to a new layer and lock them into place. Now we're gonna make the mouth. The mouth we're going to do by selecting two points apart from each other like so and giving them a little bend right there and we're going to make another point right above them like so and just round that corner. We want to get rid of these extreme anchor, uh, handles and above the next point right there just round it so it kind of looks like a mouth. Now we're going to draw the pipe. And the pipe we're going to draw by using the pen tool. And trying to make a pipe shape that extends just a bit farther than one of these lines. Again, we'll readjust this once we can see the whole image. Make a curve for the bottom of the pipe. And bring it up above that point. And curve it up and then make the next point a bit lower than that anchor point. Somewhere right there, so it's angled. And we just continue with the shape. Make a little bobble right here to match the other bobble. And we're just gonna blend into the shape and close it. Now I'm just going to move the pipe a bit higher so it's in line with the mouth because it's supposed to be coming from the mouth and I'm just going to make the pipe also a bit, a bit wider. It helps with drawing. Now we're going to create a square in here. Eventually we'll give it a brown color and we're just going to make it 
uh, into the shape of the pipe. Like so. Kind of a narrowing down, maybe more of like a squarish triangle. <laughs> We'll make another small shape in here. Then using the pen tool, we're gonna to create this kind of curvy shape right here and that's gonna give a little bit of reflection on the pipe. Like so. Then we're gonna select all of our shapes. We'll give them the brown color that we see up here. And we're also gonna select two of our shapes down here. And we're going to go to Effect, Stylize, and Round the Corners. Just to make them seem a bit more natural. We're just going to round the corners by just a tiny bit. Five points, two, maybe six. Good. Now we're going to do some little adjustments. Let's make the mouth tiny bit bigger and also let's adjust the shape of the pipe make it a bit wider not too wide like so now we're going to start with the nose and the nose we're going to use the pen tool we're going to have a stroke of three and we're going to start right up here make a straight line to about roughly that point. And then we're gonna curve it to here, like so. So it just kind of fits in that well that you made earlier. And then we're gonna curve it again to here, also with the shape of his beard. And we're gonna make one more point. Let's move that handle. Just about to there, like so. We're gonna make sure that it's rounded. And there we have Captain Haddock's nose. Pretty simple. Now we're gonna work on the eyes, the brows, and his wrinkles, starting with the wrinkles. So using our paintbrush tool, we're just gonna draw a kind of a little curvy surface and that curves outish like that. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Like a U, and then downwards a bit. There you go, and that's his wrinkles. Now we're gonna draw the eyes, and we want it to be roughly about nine points, the good size, black, so, and you want to be right, the middle to be right above that wrinkle, roughly. We're going to copy it to the other side, and it should be right above that wrinkle, and we're going to stretch it out just a tiny bit. I know this looks weird right now, it will look a lot better in just a moment. Now we're going to draw the eyebrows. So starting right here, we're going to go downwards, and like straight, and then curve over the eye and make them look angry. Just curving over it and bringing it out a bit. And now you're starting to see Captain Haddock's true nature. We're gonna do the same with the other one by curving out, down, and then also over that eye to make him seem angry. And you'll see, and there, now he's angry. And the nice thing with the, the paintbrush tool is that it will smooth out your paths after you draw them. So you don't have to be so, so precise. Now we're going to start with the cap. The cap's a bit tricky. We're going to start right above this point right here, bring it down to here, and we want to curve over that middle line just slightly. Control our anchor points, and we want to bring it just outside of his head right here, and then upwards, and we're going to curve it to roughly that point right there. It's gonna be right a bit farther than his ear would be. And you're just gonna follow the shape. So make some U's right here. Make the cap. Here's the cap and now just bring it down. Round a bit and close the path. It looks weird, don't worry, this is normal. 
we're gonna give it the same black fill and that's what this cap kind of looks like. Now to help us a bit we're gonna select the shape and go to object path and simplify just around the corners a bit for us. Again we want a high percentage around 100. Good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make two little stripes using the square tool right about here. Add some little dimension to his cap. Great. Now we're going to draw the yellow bands that curve around his cap. And we're going to use the same shape as his mouth. Do the exact same thing as we did right there. Starting right here. Bend it over, curve the corners, now we're going to draw kind of a patchy circle up here, let's simplify it. And using the pencil tool, we're going to draw a anchor. We have a stroke of three and make sure that it's rounded. Maybe that's a bit too thick, let's uh, make it two. Now I'll give it a black stroke. I'm just going to clean up a bit. Now his hat looks a bit more proper. Now we're going to draw sideburns with a pencil tool pretty thick stroke and we're just going to follow the outline and we're going to fill this with black. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Cool. Having done that, we're going to draw two little lines. This is some of his hair. Now we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to draw his left ear, which is on our right side. I'm going to curve it up just above his eyebrow. And down to about the middle line. Let's readjust. Now we're going to draw the, his right ear, so the ear on the left. And roughly the same way. So above to eyebrow height. and be sure to send it to the back. We we'll draw the inside of his ear by just using the pen tool, kind of a squiggly line. And we'll give it a slightly thicker stroke. Let's make it rounded, of course. Let's just do some minor readjustments. Now we're almost done. We're going to start by making this turtleneck and we're going to use the paintbrush tool and you can make this kind of wobbly shape of a turtleneck that kind of goes out and in and out once again and hugs his body, or hugs his head. Now we're going to select it, we're going to fill it with the blue, we're going to send it to the back and we're going to give it a stroke. Of three, like everything else. Let's just do some minor readjustments so it's not doesn't stick out too high. Now we're gonna do shoulders, starting right about here. I'm gonna bring him down. You're just gonna make a straight line down and around. Send it to the back. Now we're just going to draw a blue portion of a shirt. And readjust. Then we can simplify and kind of center this a bit. Then we're going to do some minor readjustments. We're going to increase the stroke on his ears. Maybe do about two. Makes it fit with the rest of his things a bit better. And we're just going to just a couple little other things. Let's take off the grid to see what we get. And it's not bad. 
And last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the little pink spots on his cheek that most Tintin characters have. We'll make them uh, pink. And then we're gonna go to Effect, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And here I used a pretty small radius, it's kinda difficult to see. But it does the job. And there you have it. Let's compare them with a real image. And as you see, it's not too bad. There's some slight differences between the proportions, but again, every single time you draw this, it's gonna be different from the other time. And that's okay, that's part of drawing. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please write them in the comments below. Any suggestions, that will help as well too. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos. We have another video of Tintin. And of course, as always, have a great day.